attack the body. Yeah, attack the body more when I when I was climbing up. Do it more as opposed to trying to establish it from the jab. So it'll be more of a body attacker instead of a boxer. Maybe I think boxing would have been for, from the beginning because I felt mm -hmm. that his power was more manageable. I expected a big power puncher. So when I felt some of his clean punches that I was able to take it clean, I felt like if I would have from the beginning been the attacker, going for him, I might have been able to hurt him a lot more. Now, do you think your like head movement was really like an issue for him? Because he was throwing a jab, but it was not really that successful because of your head movement and movement to the side and things like that. Well, I don't, you know, it, that, that's a problem with me when I fight. Sometimes my memory of what exactly happened is a little like, all I can remember is doo -doo. So whatever works for me, whatever, whatever I did well, it was hard for me to tell you. Yeah. But I felt like if he threw something and he missed, I, I wasn't thinking, great job. I was just thinking, on to the next, you know, on to the next. So gotcha, gotcha. Whatever I did that might have frustrated him, uh, I know the head movement, I, I did it for myself, not so much to frustrate him, because he had a good, steady little jab. So you, but, spent, you spent like half the fight, you know, countering half the fight leading. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer doing? Uh, there's no real preference, I guess. Um, because well, lately I've been fighting well, bigger guys, and I, I've been able to, to sort of react to them to their movement, I became more of a counter puncher. But in this fight, mm -hmm. I definitely would have been, I would have been as it would have been advantageous of me to be in the attack. But you seem very comfortable when you're up against the ropes, though. Yeah, no, I yeah, definitely uh, had a little combination to throw. A little, I was packing something, yeah. so I, I, I had a, I had an answer for any time we were we were clinching. That's seven undefeated fighters we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you're not afraid of a challenge, and I, I get your coach too. Do you think you're ready for you know top 15 heavyweights next, or, or how far away do you think you are from fighting, you know, the premier guys in your division? Like I told you before, I don't I don't duck anybody. That's not in my character. I will not say no to any fighter. So that's up to the management and, and the coach. But I would fight anybody. Out of my own pride, out of my own my character, who I am, I wouldn't say no to anybody. So it's better for them to do that part because. I'll jump into well, any ball. That's well, my I'll, job. I'll piggyback on what he just said. Yes. What do you think is next for you? And I'm saying that he was saying that's my job. And like he said, he trusts me. We've been together from day one. If I say tomorrow we're fighting Fury, he'll be like, let's go. So, so right now, whoever. Yeah, we like, sign us up. Yeah, sign us up. That's it. So having that type of mentality, I just asked the, uh, the light man for him. Just slipped on my mind. What does it mean for you to be fighting at this arena and on this weekend? It was the same weekend, you know, yeah. what it resembles, what it means on a card like this. This was a blessing from God. It's my first time on Showtime, and for people that have reacted to this fight the way they have, I couldn't have prayed for this to have gone the way it did. It's really, truly a blessing because it was a tough fight, first time on Showtime, mm -hmm. so many eyes on me, and, you know, anxiety is a real thing. You can really get nervous, you can really feel like... You know, under the bright lights, but by the grace of God, we came out. We You're a late boys. replacement too. Hmm? You're a late replacement yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a late. What you have a week and a half, two weeks for this? Yeah, they really? told me I had to weigh two twenty-five, so that you know, it was my first time ever as a heavyweight having to to make sure that I wasn't going to be over overweight. So that was a little like, you know, sometimes you don't want to drink too much water, you want to sweat a little more. So to me, it was a little shake, you know, yeah. but not an excuse at all. Yeah. But just under the situations. The blessing that I of tonight, well, I can't, couldn't ask for anything better. God first, man. God now, first. now, what did you, uh, what would you say about this uh, work on the inside? Because he was talking about, you know, fighting on the ropes, but he was just throwing like, you know, three or four punch combinations from the ropes. So, did you like, like, uh, tell him to keep doing that as far as like working uh, the opponents to wear him down over the course of those rounds? Yeah. See, my my thing was I started to notice the opponent was starting to outwork us. He was a better boxer, but mm -hmm. the opponent was starting to outwork us, even though there was light punches, mm -hmm. but they could have been scored. Mm -hmm. So I just told him, yo, I need you to outwork him. And he, that's the way he outwork. He starts from the body, he goes to the top, and he just keep doing what he had to do to make sure he still those rounds. Yeah, and you saw that he was uh, being very successful with the left hook up, up close too. So like, did you like kind of like point that out as far as like, like saying like that could get you back into the fight as far as like what I would say, like the fourth round on? I don't have to do that. He knows that for himself. All right, gotcha. <laughs> like, he, he can adjust in the ring and do whatever he has to do. The mind shots is just, like, really just confirming most of the stuff that he already knew. George was definitely landing the better shots, but Green was landing some work. Were you confident that he was winning rounds and then going into the last round or two that you guys were up on the cards? Were you confident with that? I was kind of confident, but I knew I still wanted that last round because I've been around boxing a long time. 
and I just wanted him to just 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 solidify it in that last round. That's all I wanted. But I know in the in the meat of the fight, I know we had the meat. But you know, sometimes judges only remember the beginning and the end. So I just wanted him to make sure he tried to steal that last round. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Now let me get on someone's stomach. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys.